The government has completed its legislative agenda and adjourned the business of the House of Assembly to May 22nd, one day before it would be automatically dissolved in, according, in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution and three months ahead of the deadline for general elections. Here's how Prime Minister Ingram ended today's session. The second, the second resolution, Mr. Speaker, relates to... Speaker, Speaker, like I said, I don't want any arguments today. Mr. Speaker, I move the House to now suspend to May 22nd, 2012. <laughs> Well, before that, parliamentarians passed the Freedom of Information Bill and the reinstated Heads of Agreement for the Mayaguana deal, returning nearly 6,000 acres of land from the I Group to the Crown. Several land resolutions were also passed, including one dealing with Montgomery Tract in South Andros. Mr. Ingram said during each of his terms in office, he has sought to empower Bahamians, and land ownership is one way of doing that. He said he was happy to bring some closure to the land deal in South Andros saying it should have been done a long time ago. I was glad when I saw that Sir Lyndon Pillen had been resurrected by the PLP during the campaign because I want to do this for him. He'd been trying to do this from 1967 and failed. From 1967 he tried to do this for his constituents and didn't complete the job. And so I was not going to allow this term to end before I complete this job for his constituents. Mr. Ingram also gave an update on the conveyance of 34 acres of land in Bozine Town, Western New Providence. We have reached agreement with the owners of the Howard River properties for the exchange of 34 acres of land in Bozine Town. And we're going to give them in exchange for that 80 acres of land situated near Marsh Harbor, Abaco. The 34 acres of land will be conveyed to the treasurer. Preparation of the grant document 80 acres is in process. The conveyance for the 38, 34 acres is being vetted by the Office of the Attorney General. Conveyance of the 34 acres to both the entire occupants requires parliamentary consent. Boundary surveys of the various properties um, is in progress and will be concluded before the election. Mr. Ingram promised to complete this task when re-elected to office.